Instagram live for a really, really long time. So I am basically going to do it. And I think, shall I do that? No, I won't do that. Hello, Steph Heck. So, um, yeah, let's just see who's going to join us. Lovely weather in England today. How's it all going? This is much better than Facebook. Oh, my God. Facebook is just smashing me at the moment with their restrictions. But anyway, um, I just want to just talk about what I was talking about yesterday because I've got loads and loads of messages from loads of people in the community. And, um, like, I, I want to express to you the, you know, the, the sense of accomplishment that you get. Like, you know, do you want to write a book? Are you meant to write a book? Bec what time is it here? It's half past three in the, in the afternoon. The question is, like, I'm trying to convey to people in my community that if you feel like you are meant to write a book, if you have written a book in the past but didn't quite finish it, if you feel that all of the stars are aligning to help you get your book out into the world, then come and do this container with me. It's going to be so powerful. Now, I, I want to share with you what it feels like to create a book it you it gives you the most extraordinary sense of accomplishment it's like it's it's fulfillment i can't even express to you you can't you can't even bottle up that feeling of of completion and fulfillment and it's a legacy as well and it makes people so proud of you like my mum is so proud of me my family is so proud of me my friends are so proud of me they're like oh yeah my friend jen wrote that book it's an amazing book the feeling that you get from writing a book is so next level it's also a very, very serious thing to do for your business as well because it establishes you as an authority in that particular subject matter and it opens up the potential for you to be, like, you know, experienced and witnessed by, by people that are not in your actual community. It is such an incredible thing to have by your name is that, that you've written a book, that you've created a book. Now, I'm not just going to talk about the book physical book creation process i'm going to talk about the actual spiritual element to creating a book and to accessing your muse your inner inner muse so that you can pull through non-superfluous wisdom like if you go you can go to any page in my book open it up and it's non-superfluous there's no blah 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 i do not do blah 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 in, in my blogs in my videos in my writings i never ever do blah 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 so there is a way like most books you open up and it's like oh you could did you really need to say that you just covered that in that last chapter it's like there, there's so much blah 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 and to be honest with you, it's like, we don't need that anymore. We need to just cut to the chase. We need to be able to transmit the potency that is going to be able to activate the transformation in our brothers and sisters. Do you know what I mean? And that's what the book writing process is about. So it, it gives you this enormous sense of fulfillment and completion. It establishes you as an authority. It opens up the path for so many people that are not in your community to find you your book gets passed on to people your book gets recommended you promote your book on amazon you promote your book in other sort of like facebook groups or whatever and it's like an opportunity for you to grow and expand your community and be seen as an authority like i cannot stress this enough how amazing that is as a feeling so when you're buying a book when you're signing up for the course you're not just signing up to create a book you're signing up for that feeling of like wow i did it i made a book i've got i've created a permanent legacy out in the world and i've done it and it's the most amazing feeling in the world the most amazing feeling of accomplishment so i just want to let everyone know like all all my everything's geared towards that i'm not going to be hardly running any live containers this year because i'm turning all my live containers from last year into evergreen courses so i'm going to do this course once and then i'm going to turn it into an evergreen course and i'm going to sell it via kajabi or cart heart or something like that and so it's a one-off opportunity for you to come and literally troubleshoot. Like, oh, you can say to me, ask me any question about any of part of the book writing process and I'll be able to literally help you personally. So I just wanted to let everyone know about that. Um, also going to be doing the 6-6 transmission and the energies are really, really building up for that because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, tweaking the Fem Divine Feminine Blueprint because the Divine Feminine um, has had so much distortion put on her that it's actually kind of had a little bit of an effect on her blueprint and so we're having we're having to polish up the divine feminine blueprint 
So in the 6-6 transmission, we're actually going to be working to refine the Christic divine feminine blueprint because what has happened is women have taken on the role of martyrdom of sacrifice to the nth degree and this has been passed down ancestrally through our blood through our like emotional lineages we've been passing on this this martyrdom template and it is very 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 heavy dutifully um, indoctrinated into the divine feminine template so much so that divine feminines are being born and they're not even getting a chance to establish their, their clean blueprint because straight away they're just getting infiltrated with the distorted template and we need to correct that it's very very important now for the future generations that we clean up the divine feminine blueprint yeah end sacrifice now end martyrdom now end putting your needs on the bottom of the list now this is not going to take us into new earth the divine feminine needs to know who she is that she is a daughter of god she is a goddess and she needs to, she deserves to be deeply 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 honored and we all know that so that's what the six six transmission is about is going to really really help anyone with daughters with aunties with mothers with sisters it's going to be very 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 powerful so i'm going to write my ascension report probably next week um to let everyone know about the 66 transmission but that's the two things that are cooking in the pipeline at the moment i've got the 66 transmission and the uh, write your first book container it's going to be a a process that is going to be starting on the 14th of june which is the strawberry full moon it will go on to the 21st of june the 28th of june and then it'll be something like and that'll be it so it'll finish on the 28th of june so 14, 21, 28, they are the days that the, the book container will be. It'll be two hour teaching and I'm going to teach you how to hack the book writing process. I'm going to teach you how I was able to pull through 25,000 words of a book in two days. That is not common, but it's possible and it probably only took me about six hours. So that's my message everyone please share this video please um i don't know like let people know do a little post or something i don't know but i'm going to share this video on um facebook and youtube now and pray that my restrictions because with my facebook restrictions it said on the 10th of february it said you are going to be at the bottom of the feed for a minimum of 90 days so it was the 10th that i was not meant to be in the bottom of the feed but i'm still at the bottom of the feed because i don't get any notifications so at some point hopefully they're going to take me out of this and i'm going to be back on back on facebook so it's been a pain in the ass but anyway such is life i love you all have a beautiful day god bless it's a beautiful sunny day in the united kingdom we're very blessed have a lovely day